Yes. So this is the data that is given. The objective of this exercise is twofold. Understand how using modern port modern portfolio theory, how we can compute more uh, portfolio return and portfolio risk. And second, also create some sort of a tool which can demonstrate the impact that correlation can have on portfolio risk. In this case, we are using embedded macros, which is the spin change button. Okay. So first step is to find out the portfolio return, which is your first output, <clears throat> which will be some product of the weights and the returns, which in this case is how much? 21.75%. Please remember, return in this should always be exhibited in percentage. For portfolio risk, it will be square root of W A square into sigma A square plus W B square into sigma B square plus twice weight of A, weight of B, sigma A, sigma B into R, which comes to 13.54%, right? Now we will use the spin change to examine the impact on portfolio risk. So for those of you who are using non, non MacBook or non Apple laptops, go to file. You can see, do you have this developer tab with you? It will be in file. If you go to file options, may customize ribbon hoga. Customize ribbon may right side may grid may just tick on developer. You'll get it. And for MacBook users, you will get it in the Apple Excel Excel preferences. If you go to Apple, these Excel preferences you will get in Excel preferences. If you go to the uh, ribbon and toolbar you will get the dev just tick on the developer. Okay. Now what I will do is what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the spin change control in this case, the option spinner and just put it here for non MacBook users. You go to uh, controls. Don't take the active controls take the form controls don't take active x controls form controls mein ja ke, option spinner pe click karke yahan pe aao, ge toh, you will get it now what we will do is pehle hum yahan pe current <coughs> correlation likhenge. current correlation is how much 0. 0.42 in fact wo already hai yahan pe this is already there. So what I will do now, <clears throat> this is the this is the input that we need to play with. Ab ye mera remote hai. Remote ko mere ko iske saath pair karna hai. Kaise pair karoge? Right click karke go to format control. Right click karke go to format control. In format control, put the current value what is the current value of that 0 0.42 minimum values ki kya ho sakti hai? it can't be less than minus one okay maximum value cannot be more than plus one right and incremental change we can put as 0 0.01 is it okay and cell link pe ja ke yahan pe hum click karenge okay and press okay 
scroll value must be between zero and thirty thousand. Okay. Oh. Okay, this, I think uh, this one doesn't allow negative values. So it's okay, we'll do between zero and one. And then negative, we can test separately. Now what will happen is, look here, if you increase this, yeah, if you increase this, the the button should tell you the right it come correct Ah, decimals ka problem hota hai also. So what I, I I have I have a way for that. So the reason why I was showing you this is <clears throat> this format object in the in the embedded macro will not accept decimals and percentages. So what uska bhi ek way out hai. What we will do, current value, we will put as 42, not, uh, not 0 0.42. And minimum value for 0, rehne do, koi baat nahi. maximum value ko you can put as 100. Incremental change put as 1. And cell link corner, rather than keeping that cell, link it to this cell. This one. And press OK. Ye 42 ho gaya. Now what we will do is go, we will link to this one. This divided by 100. Usse kya hoga? This will automatically get converted to decimal. So when you increase this, ye 43 hoga to apne aap 0 0.43, 0 0.44, 0 0.45 aise hai now, can you see what is happening to the risk? <clears throat> what is happening to the risk if the if the correlation is coming down, risk is also decreasing. If the correlation is increasing, the risk is also increasing. Now, what if you want to test the other way? Suppose you want to test the negatives. You can, even with this. You know what you will do? You, yaha pe, <coughs> just do into minus one. Either. So now if you increase it, ye dekho. Jaise, jaise it is proceeding towards minus one, can you see what is happening to the correlation? And let's go up to minus one and see what happens. The minimal risk happens at correlation of minus one. And if you go on decreasing, you will come to the same parameters. And when you want to test the positives, you can remove this minus one and come back to the original status. What we can do is we can also construct a data table for this. So I will put my inputs here correlation and output is the risk. 
So I will take my correlation from here, risk from here. So with this, what we have established, we have established what? We have established the input-output relationship. Correct? Now we can test it. Starting from plus, uh, from minus one and going up to plus one. So here we can draw series bhi draw kar sakte to make it easier. We'll insert a series. Downwards, columns, step value we will take as 0 0.01 and stop value to be 1. Can you see that? Yeah, so what you need to do? Put minus one here. Here, pe dekho, you'll have something called a series. Series mein jaake columns. We want to put this in the columns, no? We want to test the correlations and the impact it has on risk. So columns pe jaake step value ko 0 0.1 karo. Rather 0 0.01 karo. And stop value ko 1 karo. Right? And press OK. So automatically it will show you all the values between minus 1 to plus 1. Clear? 1. <clears throat> now what we will do is we can do a data table. I think I have done this in my earlier sessions. There are uh, YouTube videos on my channel for this also. So what I will do, go to data. Data me jake what if analysis data table all my inputs are in a column and column input me I will go and change what I will go and change my correlation and press OK. Here they go. Can you see that? This is your risk. Now tell me where is the risk minimum? The risk is minimum when correlation coefficient is minus one. Where is the risk maximum? The risk is maximum when correlation coefficient is plus one. And as the correlation coefficient is increasing, the risk is on the downward trajectory. And if you remember the same data we saw when we were doing the uh, spin buttons also. Remember, minus 1 by 9 percent I have. We can also do a graph for this. You can construct a scatter or maybe a scatter or line chart. Here they go. As the correlation coefficient comes down, the portfolio risk also diminishes. Can you see that? Jesse Jesse Apka portfolio ye dekho, ye apka correlation. Hai. Jesse correlation either ja hai. This is also coming downwards. Data table. You will be getting this video recording, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just a quick recap what we did in this video. We learned how to compute portfolio return, how to compute portfolio risk. 
how to create a mini model to determine the return and risk. Why is this a mini model? Because there is only one input. Everything else is driven by linkages. And then we also use embedded macros like the developer tab, in this case, the option, uh, the spin change control and see the impact on, see the impact on portfolio risk. Validated the same thing by way of a data table, another tool to do the sensitivity and also constructed a graph. There is one more uh, thing you can try actually in the developer. That is basically your, uh, let me see, scroll bar. This is also good. You can also do this. So score, scroll bar may be aap ye kar sakte ho. It's the same thing basically. So it's just uh, you drag it to the right and left and you will get the same result. But this will be why problem aegi. Decimals and negative values, it will not take. You get what I'm saying? So uska jogaad mein aapko already bata diya hai. How you need to overcome it. For decimals, how will you overcome? Put a whole number here and convert it to decimal here in the model. And when you want to test the negatives, just multiply this with minus one. So apna, apne aap you will get all the results. Okay. So that was the use of embedded macros like spin change controls and its impact on portfolio risk as a theme application.